This is Echo 3, and let's discuss symmetry. Let's head over to the Vehicle Assembly Building and start designing a craft. We will start by covering the basics. Then, we will look at the unintuitive ways that we are able to get any number of parts to be symmetrical. For this demonstration, I'll be using the circular lander can. The lack of flat sides will better highlight these examples. We can grab a booster from the parts menu. Any part will do, but in Kerbal Space Program, we do love our boosters. The bottom left of the screen shows that we will be placing one part using the Find Placement tool. I can switch the placement tool over to Angle Snap Mode, default key C. You can hold Shift when pressing WASDQE while in Angle Snap Mode to rotate parts in 5 degree increments. The largest button on the bottom will change the number of parts being placed. This game lets you place multiple parts in two times, three times, four times, six times, and eight times symmetry. The other three icons in this area are for highlighting the center of mass, the center of thrust, and the centers of aerodynamic pressure. We will not be discussing those features here. By pressing the R key, I can switch between radial symmetry and mirror symmetry. Mirror is especially useful when making aircraft but it has its uses here in the vehicle assembly building as well. I have used it to help balance the center of mass on some of my crafts, but mostly you'll use it in the space plane hangar when designing aircraft. If you place wings using the radial symmetry, you'll notice that a lot of your parts will not get placed right, such as landing gear and your ailerons, and things won't work right. Now we're gonna move on to some of the more advanced portions of this discussion. I'm going to start by placing a cubic strut. Honestly, these are one of the handiest parts in the game. I'm going to place a set of cubic struts in three-way symmetry on the first strut. Next, after I do that, I'm going to place it in four-way symmetry. I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to pick up the parent part here and place it in four-way symmetry. But the child part is now no longer registered in three-way symmetry, but in 12-way symmetry. Here is where the real trick comes in. When a part hovers over another part, it will copy its symmetry mode. Now, when I grab this beam, if I touch the strut in 12-way symmetry, it will also be placed in 12-way symmetry. Now you can just ignore that four-way button on the bottom. The game doesn't have an icon for more than eight. Time for more boosters. I'm going to place the thumper like before, but this time we can have 12. That is 12 boosters all placed together symmetrically. But wait, there's more. We can actually place parts in any number of symmetry, not just multiples of twos or threes. If I take one of these beams and right click on it, an option to remove from symmetry appears. We can select that option. Now the beam is separate from the other 11. We can delete it without affecting the other parts. I know it looks odd. Watch what happens when I try moving one of the remaining 11 beams. It snaps to 11-way symmetry. There you have it. You can place parts in any type of symmetry you want. Recently, I made a video where I demonstrated an MI-24 Hind replica. That particular style of helicopter has five blades on the main rotor. The rotors and servos only offer the same number of symmetry modes as you see for placing other parts normally. So what I did was I placed the blades using six-way. I removed one of the blades from symmetry and I deleted it. Then. Just like before, I nudged one of the remaining five and they snapped to five-way symmetry. There you have it. That looks like an MI-24 hind. And this works with a variety of parts. Thanks for joining me to discuss symmetry.